Hi guys, today we're gonna create this aircraft flare using new Pyro Source Pact in Houdini 19.5. Honestly, I thought this straightforward to achieve, but man, that was tricky. Hi again, this is Dice, and today we're gonna play with the new Pyro Pack Source, and we're gonna create this flare aircraft here. But first, let's see how the pyro source works in traditional way. So I'm going to use this sphere and I'm going to scatter the point on it. Then I create this pyro source and initiate this smoke here. And then volume rasterize attribute. We're going to rasterize temperature and density. Okay. Now we're going to create volume solver here. Nice. And let's play and see what we have here okay that's not bad now let's copy this voxel size here and paste it relative with this and let's have a more isolation okay we need to adjust the shape of this pyro solver okay that's not bad and let's go to pyro pack source Okay, we're gonna convert this pyro source to new pack source. For that, we need a new node called pyro source pack. Pyro source pack. Okay. And we're gonna give him a name, for instance, A. Okay. Now we're gonna create merge. We're gonna need that later on. Okay. Then we need new pyro source not called pyro source instance okay second input goes to pyro pack source and the first input goes to new node called pyro spawn source okay this node take a point for the uh, spawning this source here so we're gonna create one single point using add node here and this point will be center of this space here okay then we're gonna give him the, the same name of the pyro pack source that will be a okay okay we need one more thing let's go to pyro source here on the source tab we're gonna change that to pack set and we're gonna drag this merge to source library okay let's play and see what we have here and we need okay the smoke is fading because this pyro pack source here we're gonna increase the frame range and let's play and voila we have converted this to pyro pack source okay the benefit of this workflow for instance we can add a grid here and instantiate this source as many time we want let's play and that's the magic of pack source so or for instance we can add another source a different source here for instance we're gonna use this pyro burst source and we're gonna simulate for instance the explosion here and let's copy this node okay and now on the volume rasterize we're gonna add this velocity and burn here okay and now let's add this with this merge and let's give him a different name b for instance and let's play and see what we have obviously the source is not added because we need a new pyro spawn source here let's copy that and let's have a merge here nice and let's connect that to this add node here with single point and let's give him the B name here. Okay. And let's play. And that's so awesome. This pyro source is intera interact with each other. That's a nice thing to have. Okay, before we move on, if you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe for more content. And if you want to support our community, Please check my NFT here and that will be awesome. 
Okay, back to the video. So we're gonna add variation to this workflow. Let's decrease the resolution for speed up this simulation. And now we're gonna look at uh, this pyro spawn source. As you can see, we have start frame here, stop frame, etc. And we have a more option as you can see. And we have these rules. We can tweak density or many fields as we want here. And if you notice, all these options are available as attribute here. That's good news. For instance, we can adjust this attribute with the adjust float attribute here. Okay, for instance, we're gonna select start frame and add randomization to it. And maybe one to 10. And we have this variation of starting this source and that's good so or for instance we can add this attribute randomize here to randomize the orient attribute here to have different direction of the source that's cool honestly so even we can have this animated source point source i'm going to demonstrate that with this transfer node and we're gonna create this rotation with this expression and let's play and see what we have here and that's awesome that's the possibility we can have with pyro pack source okay now let's use this method with the real situation as you can see i have this a geometry download as alembic file and we're gonna create delete node here to select part of this geometry let's select that and we're gonna choose these faces here and let's hit enter and change that to non selected okay we have this little geometry to have a scatter on it okay now let's create vellum crane vellum crane here okay and let's reduce this size here and reduce maybe the point amount and let's create vellum solver now nice and let's play okay as we expected this particle is falling let's go into vellum solver and create vellum source here and let's select our source on the sub level okay this our vellum source here and let's change that to each frame to have a stream particle nice okay we need to start the simulation at the specific frame for instance at okay let's play as you can see the simulation start at frame 80 okay let's merge these guys together and see them clearly okay and let's see that okay we're gonna change the direction of this simulation let's go here and change the gravity okay maybe in the z-axis 10 okay let's play okay that's wrong direction let's negative that nice and let's play okay that's cool for now so we need a noisy movement let's go inside the vellum and create pop force here okay let's increase that and let's play let's change that to 18 okay that's better now okay that's cool okay let's reduce this point count here let's go to scatter and decrease this nice yeah that's cool so now let's go to vellum vellum solver here and we're gonna animate this vellum source here 
we're gonna stop this stream at this frame here nice and let's play and see that okay let me use this sphere and quickly set up our pyro pack source here and let's give that fl as a name and merge as we mentioned pyro instance source and spawn source the input of this will go to vellum solver okay let's check that to 80 as a vellum solver and change that to pack set and drag that here and let's play okay we need to connect this voxel size option to this volume rasterize attribute here okay now we're gonna adjust this frame range of pyro pack source here nice and maybe reduce this sphere size here nice and let's play okay that's first step and let's adjust this okay now let's go to merge these guys together to see that okay let's play okay we need to adjust a few more options here okay let's go to fields here and flame and let's reduce flame life spawn here okay that's not bad and let's increase this resolution okay we need smoke here let's emit from flame okay maybe let's increase that okay we have this smoke nice now let's have a more smoke okay okay now let's go to shape here and enable wings to have uh, some forces here okay let's play okay we need to reverse that nice now what we have that's awesome okay now let's have a more of gravity okay that's not bad okay let's enable turbulence and disturbance and shredding to have a noisy movement the flame need to adjust this cubic source we have a sphere source okay and let's change that and let's play and see what we get now and let's play and that's better now okay that's so cool so that's the awesome result of pyro pack source and if you have a many pyro source for instance firework etc uh, you can use this pyro pack source workflow and that will work uh, great i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video bye